I had just moved to San Francisco and uh, I was, yeah, I didn't have a shoe sponsor. I was just kind of wearing Adidas and a uh, good friend of mine, Dave Carmi, emailed Yasha and said, hey, I'm shooting with this guy a lot. And he just had a cover of Transworld and, you know, I think he'd be a good fit for the team. So started talking and, you know, went on a trip with Skin. First trip ever was with Skin. We went to Atlanta uh, just to see if, you know, they liked me or if I would work on the team and if I could get along with everyone and yeah, I just hit it off with skin especially and everyone and um, there yeah, felt like home straight away so that was in 2014 I think so um, yeah luckiest man in the world best uh, best brand to work for best brand to team to skate with best shoes to put on your feet so couldn't be more stoked to be part of the crew. Yeah, you're on, they're loyal to you and, and the riders always stay loyal to Adidas because that's just the best experience you could ever have. You get to travel, you create such a great bond with all your friends and all your teammates and you know everyone that works behind the scenes is just as uh, important and just as close with everyone and yeah, it's just an unreal community and just so very uh, thankful to be a part of it. I think I when, when I moved over, I, in my head, the Cardiel rail was one thing that I was like, oh, I want to grind that rail. The China Banks one, I had no idea. I thought Julian or Dennis or someone had gone over at Frontside. I just went there to skate it one day with Kami. And Kami was like, oh, I have this idea for a photo from up on the 26th story or something. And he was like, you sh I want you to Frontside carve the bench. And I was like, all right, no worries, I'll give it a crack. And, just started trying it and he went and shot this amazing photo from from above and uh it took me an hour or so and i made it and then he texted me uh the next week and was like oh they might want it for a cover do you want to go back and do it fisheye and i was like what why would they want it for a cover that's so weird and then after finding out oh yeah no one had done it and it was kind of a big thing i was like yeah right i didn't really understand it but anyway i was ended up he actually tricked me someone texted me and said uh Oh, congrats on the cover. And I was like, what? What are you talking about? Dave lied to me and said that they decided not to run it as the cover to try and surprise me. And then he met me at China Banks one day and was like, had a six pack of Cooper's green beer and pulled the cover out and did the whole thing. But um, yeah, I don't know. I went over and I was just, oh, I was just uh, ready to skate everything. And I was in the pretty big handrail phase and street skating, bowl skating, so I just I just wanted to skate everything. I didn't really have a plan. The cardio rail was in my head and I definitely wanted to grind that, but anything else that was in front of me, I just wanted to skate. Yeah, it was ridiculous. I'd had like two photos in Transworld and then the next one was a cover, so yeah, I was blown away. Just crazy. The Thrasher one probably is, is um, I mean, it's super special to have the Transor run, but the Thrasher one just on that rail in San Francisco. Yeah, just the way it all unfolded. And I went to the spot so many times to look at it. And, you know, it was a, there's a playground at the top. So you'd have to pick between like one and three because that's when kids would be napping. <laughs> so we'd go there and uh, it just worked out that day and, and um, not long after that I moved out of San Francisco to LA. Yeah, that, it's pretty special to have those covers for sure. Ah, my dad, for sure. My dad played golf when I was a kid. He's always played golf. Uh, my mum named me Jack and then my dad got the second name and he named me Jack Nicholas after the golfer so I didn't really have a choice. Played as a kid and skating took over, late teens, early 20s, I was pretty busy skating and travelling and then I rolled my ankle or something and picked up a set of clubs again and started playing. Just got hooked again, addicted, play um, every week, have for the last uh, eight years. So yeah, just always been super into golf. I build my own clubs, I build clubs for friends, I help friends fit clubs, and yeah, I just, uh, it's a great sport, it's good. Love playing golf.
Yeah, we've been working on it for, well, it was probably six months before we actually launched and um, working with a good mate of mine, Glenn Walker, he used to work for Adidas as well. So he had recently left and then a few other close friends of ours that moved back to Australia that play golf, that we play golf with, we all kind of were spitballing about it and just trying to come up with something. Uh, we found the name, we uh, started looking for manufacturers and designs and you know, it's just kind of snowballed and started to work out and set a launch date and pushed that back and just got, got to where we got. And then when we finally launched and um, yeah, so much support from all our friends, family, people reaching out, oh, I love the brand, or people with the last name Walker, or people that don't want to wear a polo shirt and look like they're at a country club, or... So yeah, really good response to the brand, and we've been super excited and working hard to keep pushing it and enjoying it and having fun.